Hi and welcome to AC Practical 13.1, an introduction to three phase. Dr. Ken here with you. So the way we're going to do this is don't forget to do your hazard identifications, your supervision levels, your class of risks, or your risk class I should say, and the control measures about how you're going to manage and mitigate the hazard that you've identified. Here's our circuit, very, very simple in a lot of ways. Um, we're going to keep connecting up three lamps, and I'll just turn my pen on. So we have three lamps, each at um, 40 watts, 32 volts. We're going to connect them up in what's called a star configuration, so that's this joint here, giving us the star point. And then we're going to connect the other sides of the lamps up to A phase, B phase and C phase on our oscilloscope. So basically we're going to put the oscilloscope common here to our star point. So I'll just write common there. So that's where we're going to connect uh, channel one of our oscilloscope to the A phase. So we're going to keep it there. So channel number one on our oscilloscope will go here. And then channel two of our oscilloscope, we're going to move it around. So channel two, uh, we will be connecting it up to each of these phases in turn here, going B phase and then C phase. So that's our circuit. Our supply is um, the line voltage is 42 volts. So we have 42 volts here, line to line in any direction. We have 42 volts. Doesn't matter which way around you do the order, you'll get 42 volts. So let's get on with the prac itself. Here's the connection. And uh, again, I'll just turn my pointer on. Here are our three 40 watt lamps. And here's our three phase supply. So we have A phase, B phase, and C phase. There is a neutral, which for this application, this particular one, we're not going to use. And we have an isolator, which allows us to turn the supply on and off nice and easily. If you look at the connections carefully, follow the black wires, you'll see they just loop around and connect our three lamps in that star configuration. Then simply have, follow the red wire, the A phase is connected to this lamp, so this lamp's connected to A phase. Follow the white wire, you'll see here, this is connected to B phase, and finally, follow the blue wire, and you'll see that it is connected to C phase. So A, B, C, then over here we have an oscilloscope, and you'll notice at the moment, I only have channel one connected, and channel one will stay permanently connected. That's that connection there. It will stay connected to the A phase, and there's our common onto our star point, just there on the right-hand side. So we'll be looking for the wave shape that's going to appear for A phase. And we're going to make a note of what they look like and how they are in relationship to each other. So I've turned on the supply now. So you can see the red lights come on up here. Supply is on. Three lamps are glowing nice and brightly across our 42 volt supply. So they're probably a little bit brighter than they would be because they are 32 volt lamps. But the 42 won't hurt them for a little while. And you can see I have a trace on my oscilloscope 
for a phase. And if you look very carefully, you would see that it has a period of 20 milliseconds. So it's 50 hertz. So the period is 20 milliseconds to go all the way from the start there to the start of the next one. And one on 20 equals a frequency of 50 hertz. So that's step one, to notice that uh, we've got 20 milliseconds, 50 hertz frequency, and that's channel one across A phase only. So just across lamp A for now. So let's go to the next slide. And you can see here that um, things have changed a little. We've now added in channel two, Channel 2 is here, and channel 2 is now connected to B phase. Channel 2 connected to B phase. And you'll notice that uh, the B phase is the blue colour. So here's our A phase. And the white or the yellow one, sorry, the blue one is our B phase. So you'll notice that there's a one third difference between them. So that represents one third of the possible full wave, which is all the way to there. So we have a 120 degrees separation between A phase and B phase. Frequency remains the same, just the angle difference between them is 120 degrees. Now our third picture, very very similar. Let me just change my pointer pen. This time we've moved from here to here on the C lamp. So we're now comparing A and C. And A hasn't changed, A is still the yellow trace. But you'll notice something about the beef. The blue trace is now in front. So we've still got 120 degrees here. But now the C phase represented by the blue trace is now in front of A trace. So in effect our other wave was kind of in here. A bit hard to draw with a with the pen on the screen. So we've now used A phase as the reference and we've noticed a phase shift at 120 degrees from A in that direction, and now 120 degrees from A in that direction. So how do we draw this? So here's A phase. And we're going to add the B phase to it, so the B phase should end up over this way. So A and B should be in here. So I've used yellow for the B phase because the white colour wouldn't come out on my drawing. So again, A hasn't moved we use that as the reference. Then the yellow one we're going to represent by B. And of course, if I add my third one, I'm now going to get A, B and C all at 120 degrees. So 
So the difference here to here 120 and the difference in here 120 and if you measure them at any point around here here etc 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 they're all at 120 degrees separation from each other demonstrating that uh, our power supply is actually coming in being generated at 120 degrees between a phase, B phase, and C phase. Well, I hope you've enjoyed um, our little introductory pack, prac, I should say, 13.1 to three phase, demonstrating that our three phase generated supply from our supply authority does come in at 120 degrees apart.